Today on this old house, this chimney is right in the way of our open concept floor plan here, so this has got to go. Shopping day, right? Yes. yes. Yeah. What are we looking for? About 34 windows. Oof. So all of them, right? What happened to all this plumbing here? I've never seen anything like this before. There's already rot going on in that trunk. So what have you found up here? Well, a bit of a surprise. It's really the classic plumber's lament. Nice. How excited are you guys to see that? Extremely. Right? You're going to have to choke down some dust first, though, before you get to that part. <laughs> oh, yeah. All the way. Money's in the detail. That is beautiful. Hi there, I'm Kevin O'Connor and welcome back to this old house here in Westerly, Rhode Island, where we are working on this ranch house from the 1940s. Now, it looks a lot different today than it did when we first got here. This house was virtually untouched for its 70 years. Unlike a lot of ranch houses, it was a single story with a long linear roof line. It was covered in cedar shingles and it had three bedrooms, it was about 2,200 square feet. Our homeowners would like to expand it and pop it up a level. So we're looking to add a second floor on this section of the house to take advantage of some of the views to the south, the water is out in this direction, and expanding the footprint on the first floor to take advantage of some space here and expand the dining room. So if you remember, the kitchen was sort of in this area, the living room, family room was sort of in that area, and the demolition started on the inside. The kitchen got completely taken out, the knotty pine that was all throughout the house was carefully picked off so that we could reuse it. Outside, we had an excavator pull down the front porch, and now we're left with essentially this shell. Hey, Jeff. Hey, Mark. How are you guys doing? Kevin, good. How are Jeff you? Kevin. So a big difference today than a couple weeks ago, the biggest one being that the roof is off. Yeah, yeah. We actually disassembled it by hand. The, the wood was too good to pass up, so we, we took it apart. It took us about four days, and of course, this chimney is right in the way of our open concept floor plan here, right. so this has got to go. What's your plan for taking it down, Mark? Well, as usual, we started at the top, right, with the concrete cap. Unfortunately, the cap was just way too hard, so we had to get the chip and hammer out, which we did. Uh, then once we got to the brick, we found out that the mortar was too hard and the brick were hard, so we actually, to this point, had to go with the chip and hammer brick by brick, and that's where we are now. Yeah, what do you think, a couple more hours worth of work? We're hoping. All right, well, I'm gonna let you guys get back to it because I've actually got to go with the homeowners. Believe it or not, we're gonna start looking at windows so we can pick out nice. just the right stuff. Right on. Catch up right, with Kevin. you. See ya. Want to tackle all your home improvement projects with confidence? Join This Old House Insider, a new streaming service from This Old House, the iconic Emmy-winning series that inspired a generation of home enthusiasts. Stream over 1,000 episodes of This Old House and Ask This Old House commercial free. Watch it all in the This Old House app and join live online Q&As with our experts. Best of all, you can try Insider free for seven days. To join, go to thisoldhousemembership.com. Hey, Lori. Hey, Scott. Shayla. Hi. Hey, how, how are you doing? Doing, doing all right. Good. So shopping day, right? Yes. yes. Yeah. What are we looking for? About 34 windows. Oof. So all of them, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Any doors? Two. Two. Two sliders. Full package. Yes. Big decision. Big decisions today. The uh, window package is one of the largest cost points in the whole exterior. Mm. So we need to look at the price. We need to decide colors. We need to look at grill patterns door hardware, inter interior color, yep. a lot of decisions. <laughs> and where are you on price? Because there's always a wide range. Where do you want to come out? Right, so we're, we have a budget in mind for it, and we're trying to manipulate that budget to maybe get a nicer door in an area that we'll be using a lot, like a slider or something yep. like that, but uh, try and be conservative maybe in some other areas on the second floor. So potentially mix and match. Correct. Good. All right, well, we are in a showroom. It's a great yes. place to look at the options. We'll use these to our advantages, and we've got a showroom manager. Mark, good to see you. Hey, Kevin, nice to see you Appreciate as well. Appreciate you Hello. having hey, us today. Hi. You know what we're looking for. Yes, I do. We're looking at uh, exterior composition and color for the windows. And what do we have for choices? Uh, you could do a wood window, 
You could do a vinyl window, you could do a fiberglass window, or extruded aluminum. And your thoughts on those different choices? Well, I wouldn't choose wood. There's a lot of maintenance that goes along with the wood. Could be painting those, right? Um, over the vinyl, I would choose the fiberglass. Why is that? Um, it's just more stable, more durable. It's going to last a lot longer here in New England. It'll take the beatings of our winter and our summer. Okay. And color options? You give we us those? We have six different colors available. All right. Yeah, here we show the white, which is classic, which is done in many New England homes. Or you can go to a colored case uh, sash, excuse me, but this is the green, which will help it pop from the trim. Yeah, you guys actually visited the one we did in Rhode Island where they chose black sash. What'd you think? I thought on that particular house it looked fantastic, but yeah. we're going to stay more traditional and choose white. Okay. So you're looking at um, some of the material, Scott. Is that your shingle color, you think? It is. That informs the color choice a little bit. Mm -hmm. It does. Yeah, so with the option of the uh, wood shake shingle stained in possibly a grayer or beige tone, then we have a suggestion for roof shingles, mm -hmm. which would be a standard gray. There's a few options we can choose there. Yep. And the decking will be done in either a wood mahogany or something similar. And this is why you work with the designer and in a showroom. That makes your decision easy, right? It does. Very easy. We need a lot of help. <laughs> okay. Another decision we need to make is the grill pattern. If you follow me, we can look at some options there. Okay. In this room, we're going to decide the trim. I have some samples here to show you. So this would be the exterior trim package outside of the windows? Yes. How do you describe this one? This is shown as a simple picture frame molding. Mm -hmm. uh, very straightforward, very simple, doesn't pull a lot of attention. It would be throughout the whole project. Mm -hmm. Another option is we can do the picture frame with the, the uh, sill, or we can do the full package, which is the picture frame sill and the crown molding. On this, you know, on this house, this would be done on the tops only because the lower will die into the freeze board. You guys want plain or you want a little bit more traditional? Or you want to think about it? Probably a little bit more detail and more traditional. All right. So we'll call this the lead contender. We yes. won't hold you to that nice. yet, but we will eventually. So here on the table, we have three different renderings showing the grill patterns that you can choose. The first has the two over two pattern. So just so we're clear, upper sash, lower sash, two lights on the upper, two lights on the lower, that's your two over two? Yes, correct. And then on the second option, we have four over one pattern. Mm -hmm. And then the third is our colonial trim, which is showing two options. You have six over one, or you can get a full colonial shown here on the casement, or the casement can be made to look like a double hung. And how do we get the actual light pattern from you in the construction, Mark? What we're looking for is on this project is to do a simulated divided light look, which will have a grill affixed to the interior, a grill affixed to the exterior, with a spacer bar in between to give it that authentic divided light look without the cost. The most common package you sell is the simulated divided light? That is correct. Yeah. That, that's what gives it a nice detail and a nice pop. So that means you guys have to decide on the light pattern. Um, anything here that jumps out at you is great or not so great? Yeah, the one that we definitely don't like is the four over one. So we're just going to take it out of the equation. Agreed. Absolutely. Oh, good. All right. All right. And so the six over six is probably a little more traditional, um, whereas the two over two is a little bit more contemporary compared to each other. Thoughts on those? I think we really like the two over two. It lets a lot of light in, unobstructed view, and uh, it's quite a departure from what we have on our house now. And is that mutual? It is. Nice. nice. Progress. <laughs> yeah. right? And another decision that needs to be made is the window hardware. So we have here three painted options and three metal options for the, the hardware on the interior of the windows. This is the locks that are going to be at the meeting rail. Mm -hmm. Do you guys have thoughts? What are you leaning towards? Uh, we're undecided at this uh -oh. point. Uh -oh. <laughs> One simple way is if you do white interiors, is you just go with the white hardware trim and they do disappear and not, be, not stand out. But on the doors, I would recommend you do upgrade to one of the metal finishes. And, and you're allowed one sleep on it moment, so we'll give you that for this one here. You can sleep on that decision. <laughs> okay. Good. But we do have to decide on doors. Yes, let's go do doors. In the house, we have two locations for sliding doors, from the dining room to the deck and from the living room to the deck. They're both 12-foot openings, so we recommend two sliding panels and two stationary panels, okay. just like this shown. And on the operating panels, obviously, you'll have to make a choice for your hardware. 
and I would suggest taking Lori up on a metal finish hardware. It'll really give the door a pop. Okay. Um, if we like the two over two grill pattern, can we get that in the door as well? Absolutely we can. We can set it up that way for you. So that would be the decision on the hardware, on the pattern. We would stick with the fiberglass to match the exterior windows? No, they're, they're, this is near the water, so we need to get into the extruded aluminum uh, product to give you your impact glass. Ah, okay. okay. But you, we could still give us the light pattern, the hardware we want? All the same features, absolutely. Okay. Nice. So, Lori, correct me if I'm wrong, they've made a lot of decisions, which gets Great us most job. of the way. Yes. You need a couple more, but she's a resource. Mark in the showroom is a resource. Just Absolutely. finish that and we'll make an order. Yeah, you're doing great. Excellent. All right. Yeah. Thank you, Mark. Appreciate Thank it. You. You're very welcome, Thank you, Mark. Thank you. It's a good look right here. How's that going to feel when you're walking out on your new deck? Want to tackle all your home improvement projects with confidence? Join This Old House Insider, a new streaming service from This Old House, the iconic Emmy-winning series that inspired a generation of home enthusiasts. Stream over 1,000 episodes of This Old House and Ask This Old House commercial-free. Watch it all in the This Old House app. And join live online Q&As with our experts. Best of all, you can try Insider free for seven days. To join, go to thisoldhousemembership.com. Serious progress, huh? Yeah, so we're, we're actually going to take it right down to the basement floor, and then we're ready for walls. Yeah, so let's talk about the walls. Uh, the footprint of this building on this side really isn't changing much. Right. Why are the exterior walls coming down? So, first of all, these are 2x4 exterior walls. We want to switch to 2x6, yeah. give us more insulation. Secondly, they'd really like to have nine foot ceilings. These are only eight. So they're gonna go up anyway. Right, and All we've right. got one little section right there that we're gonna square off. So we got a little bit of a change. All right, so how are we gonna attack it? What do you wanna do? So we're basically gonna slice right down these bays. Slice them down, push them out. placement. Beautiful. All right, next. Super satisfying. <laughs> wow, a lot of progress. So chimney, gone, sidewalls, gone. Where do you go from here? So we've got to dig and uh, put a foundation in to square off that corner right there. Because we're getting a little addition off this way. Yep. yep. So we're in the future dining room here. So we're going to plywood this whole surface and get it nice and clean. And Start then fresh. we're ready to stand walls. Beautiful. Let's do it. All right. Every year, the building trades comes together in a massive convention, and suppliers put out their best and latest technology. So while demolition continues in our project back east, Jeff and I thought we'd come out to Las Vegas to check out the latest and greatest. 
This is like a toy store. Uh, How are you? Goodness. What do you oh, think yeah. of this? It's oh a, my God, it's, it's incredible. A, it's like a Paris fashion show. Everybody awesome. waits to put out their best stuff. Yeah. So this is one of the major plumbing suppliers uh, in the world, and it's really some cool things. Yeah. Yeah. What do we got down at our place? So we have three and a half baths. So yeah. I don't exactly know what the homeowners want, right. but this is as good a place right. as any to learn about all of it. We'll look really smart if we if we go around fast <laughs> enough. So let's start here. You know, we've seen these faucets before. You know, you can manually have them come on, yep. but also with the sensor here. But this one also has home automation built into it. So you can say, Alexa, fill my coffee pot. Crazy. So manufacturers keep on trying to fight to get less and less water to still flush yeah. the toilets. And so here's one here. Hey, how are you? Good. Good. So this is that standard toilet here. You know, but and you know it's got the exposed trapway. But what they're doing is they're constantly trying to re-engineer the passage of water through both the trapway and here to keep on using less and less and less right. and still flushing. Getting a good flush. And they've done it great. So then this is your basic one. Look at this here. Now it doesn't have the exposed trapway. See how it's clean and beautiful right. here. Right. And you just have this here. What you don't see is underneath here. This is the part that mounts down onto the closet flange and to the pipe. This comes up and connects up here, and you just tighten this. So when it does that, it makes a perfectly tight seal sure. to the flange and floor. And so, this looks like it gives us the ability to do different rough ends. Right, that's nice, because you can go 10, 12, or 14 inch roughs. That's pretty cool. So these are the basic toilets. Wait to see the rest of them. So you might remember this toilet. We did it down in Jamestown. Oh, yeah. We hung, we put, this is the part we put inside the wall, made right. it go away. You don't often see it put together this way. Nice, nice and easy to there. keep clean. And look at all the ways you can activate it. Every oh, kind yeah. of finish, the small button for liquid, the big one for solids. And they even have, now look, the touchless one here. Totally cool. So on this wall are these toilet seats that can add onto any existing toilet. They call them cleansing seats. They have a built-in retractable bidet that comes out right here, a heated seat, and even a dryer, all built in in a nightlight. You just gotta make sure you have an electrical outlet behind. So. Yeah, we're finding 50% of the people are going to some automation in the toilet seat. That's so right. it's and 100% of the people that try one of these want one again, so <laughs> pretty cool. So everything we've seen before comes together in this one product. So it's a brand new introduction. When you come close to it, the seat lifts. You see it right here? Yeah, okay. automatic. Now it's got the same retractable bidet. It's got the heater. It's got the dryer. It's got a UV light to clean it. Right. But right. wait, it also has home automation in it. So that means it's got Alexa. It's got a speaker built in so you can now make a phone call. You can do your emails. You can do anything you need. <laughs> I really like the night light. I'll put one on reserve for you, oh, all right? Good, good. All right, we still got, what, two or three more buildings to yeah, do? Yeah, like 100,000 square Let's feet. Let's go. demolition is complete so it's time to start rebuilding we have closed in the garage right here with a new concrete pour and we even did a little infill on this corner the old deck has been completely reskinned with plywood and now it's time to start raising the new walls so Jeff uh, engineered lumber for all the walls huh yeah. yeah so traditionally we've used engineered lumber in critical areas where we want straight walls so the kitchen walls a lot of times around the shower walls for tiling 
but this time we're going to try it for the whole house and uh, we're really hoping that that will eliminate any movement in the entire house. That's what you like about it, that it is so straight and uh, so stable? Yeah, it's manufactured straight, it comes in long lengths, it's very, it's, it's really nice product. Okay, so we're using two by six uh, measurements right here. What's the premium you pay for engineered? Yeah, so it's about twice as much framing lumber. It's a lot. It's a lot, but when you aggregate cost of the house, it's really a small percentage. Okay. So this one's all framed, ready to go up? Yeah, we're going to stay on this wall. All right, I'll grab the brace, level, you guys lift that. You got a gun, we'll shoot that down. You guys ready? Nick? One, two, three, up. How's that look? Good. Much than that. All right. So the new part of the addition, we're using engineered lumber. But when we took apart the old roof there, we found some really nice lumber. Look at this lumber. This is practically clear vertical grain right here. I mean, the difference between lumber from 70 years ago and today. Yeah. So tight, wide open. Right. So notice the, the circles, you know, circular pattern on the new lumber. That's going to give it the movement and the twisting. Whereas this clear vertical grain isn't going to move at all. It hasn't moved in 70 years. Right. So we're going to rip 2x4s out of this 2x8 and use them for our interior fill-in in here. I love that. That's <laughs> awesome. up is even more satisfying than taking the old yeah, ones down. So rebuilding has begun. What do you got on tap for next week? So we have a 1,560 pound beam that spans the whole width of this floor and uh, that holds the second floor up. All right, sounds good. So until then, I'm Kevin O'Connor. And I'm Jeff Sweener. For this old house here in Westerly, Rhode Island. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.